Okay, we better be talking about a lot of money that I do not have. <laughs> um, Inspector Chris is in the building. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Chris, and I'm back again with another favorite video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the biggest houses in the world. Before I even start, if you are new, subscribe, please. If you are not new, like the video, please. And you should go watch our brand new video on the couples channel. Watch it right after this video. It's very hilarious. And follow me on all my social medias. But enough talking, get right down to it. At number 10, we have. Fairfield, it is in New York. Ooh, hey, as y'all can see, it's huge, it's huge. But that's yeah, crazy. It's only number ten, so it's even it's even a busy, even a bigger one, much bigger one. It is valued for two hundred and forty eight million four hundred seventy seven thousand and two hundred. It is a six three acre property. It is a 100,000 square foot estate. It includes two bowling alleys, 150,000 hot tub, a movie theater with seats for 164 people, and an indoor basketball court. I like that. At number nine, we have Pinsmore. It is in Highlandville, Missouri. Woo! Dang. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Sheesh! It is 72,000 square foot lab bunker family home. A CIA officer wanted to use 13 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms for basically for basically the testing groups. And now, you know, you can live there and stuff like that. Uh, Y'all see how big this is? And yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> At number eight, we have Taiya Huan. Taiya Huan. Suzhou, China. Woo! Oh my gosh! Do y'all see this? They have a wine. They have a. They have a. <laughs> That's cap. That's cap. <laughs> That's cap. <laughs> Boy, that's cap. I like that. I like that. Look at it. I like that. I, I like it. It is a 72,441 72, square foot mansion on Dushu Lake with 32 bathrooms and bedrooms, a wine cellar. The interior decor is a mix of modern and more classic design. Oh my gosh. At number seven, we have, oh, what? no, 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 hold on, hold on. I'll pause, do it again. At number seven, we have the one. It is in Bel Air, California. Uh, there is a video. So, end up talking. I ain't gonna talk. We're just, we're just gonna watch the video together. So, that's good to the video. 500 million is 100,000 square feet rising on a hill in LA's Bel Air neighborhood. It's the most expensive listing in America, and it's called The One. Asking price, 500 million. Our cameras were the only ones ever allowed inside the house, which is under construction. We're going to see some graphic images of it, and it will be finished next year. Take a look. Oh. The One has steadily been taking shape since 2013, and it's possibly the most desirable site for a home on the planet. But the That's wild. Views That's wild. about the only thing that come naturally here. The rest is being built from the ground up Sheesh. with top of the line material, including a virtual mountain's worth of marble. What how much are they getting paid for making that? 2018, this mammoth structure will include a glass encased library, four lane bowling alley, 40 seat movie theater, an indoor outdoor nightclub, and of course, a room full of jellyfish. This is only number seven. 
enough. To that. <laughs> Number six, we have Villa Leoponda, the French Riviere. If y'all don't know anything about the French Riviere, Google it, cause I ain't ready to tell y'all. I ain't ready to tell y'all nothing. But I still see what it look like. Sheesh! Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Do y'all see this? The 50 acre estate situated in the French Riviera was originally constructed by King Leopold II. Inside, there are 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, as well as a commercial greenhouse. Number five. Number five, we have Versailles. It is in Windermere, Florida. Now, let's see. Ooh, okay, I like that. I love the color. I love the color, and then, yeah, I like that. It has 90,000 square feet. The home has 32 bathrooms, 11 kitchens, and 14 bedrooms, arcade, gym, salon, and a movie theater. Ooh, that's cow. That's cow. I love this good cow. I love it, but I don't have the money. There's also space for 30 cars in the garage and six pools to choose from. Imagine like being, hey honey, I'm gonna go swim in the pool uh, on the south side. You can go swim on the north side. Like that's, that's, that's cap, I like that. And number four, we have Winston Hurst, London. And it is in England. It's just, if you're smart enough, you would know. First, I just want to say, it has a lot of trees. Uh, I don't want to live there. It's, oh my gosh. It has 830,000 square feet of living space. 775 rooms. And, and it has several corgis. Also, it's because it's the home of the queen. So, that's still nice. I don't care. That's nice, but I would not want to live there. Also, it has two basements housing a 70-foot swimming pool. Movie theater, massage parlor, a sauna, a gym, and parking spaces. At number three, we have Salford Mansion. It is in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. They only have one picture. One picture only. What I see. I only see one picture. It looks pretty basic, but it looks really nice. Uh, let's read into it to see what they have. It is something about a high wall. The 130 room house is about 10,868 square meters. This is the largest private residence there. It can't get more private than that. What the hell did you just say? And number two, we have Biltmore Estate. It is in Asheville, North Carolina. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, this, that looks amazing in the snow. The main house has 250 rooms and it. it is still owned by the family. It has 43 bathrooms, three kitchens, 65 fireplaces, banquet hall, 70,000 gallon indoor swimming pool, 23,000 Book library. A 178,926 square foot home is considered the largest private residence in the U.S. In the U.S. In the U.S., man. Yeah, brother. <laughs> now, at number one, we got the big dog. The dog of them all. The ones that cost more, that's bigger, that's cleaner, that's oh my gosh, and it's more. The one that's just, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> in the room, we have Antelia. It is in Mumbai, India. Never heard of this building. I've never seen it. Okay, so it's right in the middle, right in the middle, like dead shot in the middle. Like, you won't miss it. Sheesh! Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. You, you, you're coming like that? Two billion dollar home. Known as Antilia. Because, as you'll notice, naming your home is apparently a thing for the 
uber wealth, wealthy. It is a towering 27 story skyscraper situated in downtown. Okay. Oh, we're taking elevators now. Uh, okay, so you're capping your ass off now. Um, okay, so we get it. You're rich. Um, okay, that's just. <laughs> Standing 550 feet high and hosting 400,000 square feet of living space, the entire project took more than four years to complete. It has nine elevators to carry individuals throughout the massive complex, and the top floors of it offer a wonderful view, as you can see. It offers, like, one of the best views ever. No two floors are identical in either floor plan or building material. The overall structure is based on that's too. That is all I got. That is the end of this video. Um I hope y'all really did enjoy this. I enjoyed looking at this. Uh that was amazing. It was a lot of cap. A lot of good cap. I know I kept saying cap, but it was a lot of good cap. Uh I enjoyed this video and uh please if you are new, subscribe to the channel, please. And if you are not new, please like the video. Go watch the new couples video. It's hilarious. My girlfriend speaks Spanish to me. And it was just hilarious. So go watch it. Follow me on all my social medias. Thank you for all the support. Please, please, please subscribe. Let's hit 200. And by the end of the year, let's hit 1K, please. I'm going to keep on posting nonstop. And I love you and I thank you. And sorry for missing yesterday. But I missed yesterday because I posted. But... I'm sorry. No more missing days. I'm sorry. I really do love you. And I'm done talking. So I'm out. Deuces.